Good morning, friends. I think there is a holiday coming soon. Do you know what it is? Is it Christmas? Was Santa Claus? No. Is it Valentine's Day? No. No. It's Easter. Easter is coming. Who comes to your house when there is Easter? The Easter Bunny, right? Sometimes around Easter, we go on Easter egg hunts. We're going to read the Pout Pout Fish Easter Surprise this morning and see what happens in this story. Do you think that Mr. Fish will get an Easter surprise? Here we go. Mr. Fish was bubbling with excitement. The Easter egg hunt was today, but Mr. Fish was also worried. Every year, no matter how hard he hunted, he never came home with any eggs. His basket was always empty. He looked and looked and looked, but he never found any eggs. Would that make you happy or sad? It would probably make me sad if I never got any eggs. He found Mr. Eight and Mrs. Squid weaving baskets for everyone in the neighborhood. That looks like fun, said Mr. Fish. Is there anything I can do to help? Mr. Fish wants to help. Thanks for offering, said the octopus, finishing up several different baskets at once. But we've got it covered. It's tricky business, Mr. Fish, said Mrs. Squid as her tentacles twisted and tied. Look at those baskets that they're making. Do you think it's easy because they have so many legs? What color are the baskets? Are they pink? No. What they're color green. are they? They're green. green. Why don't you spread the word that we are ready to begin, asked Mr. Eight. Mr. Fish happily darted here and there, relaying the message to his friends. Swimming to the school, he found Mrs. Hewitt watching over the little ones at recess. She sounded the bell and the students all lined up. Look, she rang the bell. What do you think they're lining up for? For the Easter egg hunt, right? Are you as excited as I am, Mr. Fish? Little Fry asked. I am very excited, said Mr. Fish. He didn't reveal that he was also very worried. Do you know why he's worried? Because he doesn't want to have an empty basket at the end of the Easter egg hunt. As everyone gathered, Mr. Fish resolved that he wouldn't come home with an empty basket this year. He is really motivated to find some eggs. Soon the hunt was underway. Mr. Fish found himself next to Miss Shimmer. How's it going? He asked his friend. No luck yet, said Miss Shimmer. M Mr. Fish spotted a beautiful egg nestled in a grove of seagrass. Its decorations were dazzling. Do you see it over there? Who do you think that egg is perfect for? That one is perfect for you, Miss Shimmer, exclaimed Mr. Fish. Why, thank you, Mr. Fish, said Miss Shimmer. May I give you a smooch? Mr. Fish said yes. Look, she was so happy and thankful that Mr. Fish helped her find an egg that she gave him a kiss. As the hunt continued, Mr. Fish swam this way and that way. Near a shipwreck, he spied an egg that seemed just right for his friend, Starfish. Why do you think that egg would be perfect for starfish? What's on that egg? Are they circles? No, they're stars. Underneath the coral reef, he uncovered a pearly white beauty for Miss Clam. Look at that one. With Mr. Lantern, Mr. Fish explored a dark crevice and found an egg with a glow all its own. This one is for you, Mr. Fish said to his luminous friend. Look, it's glowing. He's glowing. More and more eggs were discovered and the treasure hunt was winding down. That means it was almost over. And then to his surprise, Mr. Fish discovered an egg of his very own. <gasps> look at that one. Who does that egg look like? It looks like Mr. Fish. It almost matches. But then he saw his friendly little fry and who hadn't found any eggs yet. Oh no, the little one hasn't found any eggs. I've been saving this one for you, said Mr. Fish, turning his pout into a smile. So that egg looks like the little fry too, doesn't it? Mr. Fish gave it away. That was very kind of you, Miss Hewitt said, and everyone around agreed. Mr. Fish had a wonderful warm feeling inside that chased away his worry. It's really nothing, he said with a smile of his own. But Pout Pout Fish's friends and neighbors didn't think it was nothing. They thought it was something, something very wonderful indeed. Look, everyone has an egg in their basket except for Mr. Fish.
fish, right? He's the only one that doesn't have an egg. Before Mr. Fish could swim away home with an empty basket once again, they surprised him with a very special treat they'd gathered just for him. You always help us find the perfect egg, said Mr. Eight, and we wanted to make sure you found the perfect treasure for yourself. I don't know what to say, said Mr. Fish. There's only one thing to say, said the little fry. Look at that. He got a huge basket of Easter treats. He was so kind to his friends. They wanted to be nice to him, too. The little fry said, Happy Easter, Mr. Pout Pout Fish. He's not very pouty anymore, is he? He is happy that he helped his friends. And he got some Easter treats, too. We're going to do a little art project with some eggs. This is Hi. Skylar. And she drew an egg on yellow paper, but she used white crayon. Do you see it? When she paints with watercolors, the white stays so that you can see the egg's pattern. She's going to keep painting a little while. And then Adeline, come here. Adeline drew an egg hi. on a white piece of paper. You want to say hi? Hi. And can you guys see the egg? I can't see the egg either. Is there an egg on there, Adeline? Yeah. Okay, let's paint it and see. She's going to get her paintbrush. You have to use watercolors. Here you go, Adeline. Let's paint this egg and see if there's a pattern on there. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's paint on it. You can paint anywhere. Anywhere, sissy. She's a little confused. Do you think there's a pattern? <gasps> I see something. Get some more paint. What do we see? Circle. There's circles on your egg. Do you need some more water? Yeah. Get your paint. Yay. See what else is on there. Let's show everybody. Look. You can start to see her decorations on her egg when she paints. Maybe you, if you guys have watercolors at home, you could give this a try to paint some Easter eggs. We'll see you soon. I hope you have a great Easter. Love you guys. Bye.